everybody, welcome to Total Lacrosse with Johnny Vegas, powered by Twin Lacrosse, Bottle Bro, Ice Black, and The Jockster. My guest today is Chris Harrison. Chris Harrison is the host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, and Bachelor Pad. Thank you for being a guest on my show, Chris. How did you get into hosting television shows, in particular, The Bachelor, Bachelorette brand? First of all, thanks for having me. It's good to talk to you, and... Yeah, I mean, I got into it in an odd way. Um, I kind of backed into it through, through the world of sports. I, I played soccer my whole life in college. Through that, became a sportscaster in Oklahoma City. And thought that's really where my life was going to end up, was continuing down that avenue and maybe just end up back home in Dallas doing sports uh, for a logo affiliate. And then I moved out to L.A. to actually start up a horse racing network, of all things. Oh, wow. And one thing led to, one thing led to another, and... Uh, you know, Bachelor came around, and it's been 17 incredible years. Well, that's an incredible run. Congratulations on all your success, especially with that show. 17 years is an incredible run. That show would never be the same without you. I so, would like uh, to think that's true. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's very true. Now, we talked about sports a little bit. The reason I contacted you is because we have a mutual friend in Sean Lindsay. Sean Lindsay coaches the varsity lacrosse team at Agora High School, and Sean also coaches the LA Mavericks. Your son Joshua plays on the LA Mavericks lacrosse team, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's you know I, I was a soccer guy, and and obviously growing up in Texas was not exposed to lacrosse, didn't know anything about it. And gosh, probably eight or nine years ago, I think it was when my son decided he'd had enough of, of playing baseball and thought it was boring. Uh, lacrosse was just beginning out in our area. We live in, in Los Angeles, and there was this guy Sean Lindsay, who, uh, as anyone knows in this industry. An absolute rock star. And, oh yeah, you know, tall American from Syracuse, and he came out and, and really started lacrosse in, in our area and outside of LA, and it took off. And, and he has done a phenomenal job. A great guy, but also just what he did to kind of really nurse the sport because it, it was yeah. like a little burn, and it took him a while because he was really introducing a new sport in, in a big football, basketball, baseball, soccer area, and uh, and it really has blown up on the West Coast in large part to guys like Sean. Yeah. Um, and my son, yeah, my son's been trained by him and has played for him, and including this year, he's on his elite travel team. And um, he's proved to, you know, not only create and grow the sport, but now it's really legitimate prospects, and a lot of D1 studs are coming out of California now uh, because of, and really it's because of guys like Sean Lindsay, who now these kids are not just great athletes, but they've been coached well, and they taught, so they can walk into these D1 programs and actually contribute. I agree with everything you are saying. I know Sean Lindsay will be tuning into this episode, so shout out to the lacrosse legend and icon, Sean Lindsay. I think because yeah. of Sean, too, some other guys, you know, there's, you know, Jeremy Sieverts coaches my son in high school, and yeah. um, another rock star, um, you know, from yeah. Maryland and then also in the MLLS. And so when you have that much talent coaching out here, you, know, you can't help but get better, and you can't help but start sending some, some studs, uh, you know, to college. And so now, you know, now my son's in that that pivotal junior year he's about to start you know his junior year of high school and so we're we're, we're starting that, that whole college hunt that uh yeah thousands and thousands of kids are starting to do yeah, yeah i saw one of your pictures you posted of the la mavericks on instagram had jonah swigert as one of the coaches jonah plays for syracuse university currently jonah also is an la mavericks alumni and was coached by sean Lindsay at agora high school as well I know your son is a junior in high school and is looking at colleges. Any chance your son ends up at Syracuse? Yeah, in, in his dreams, he would love to end up in a place like Syracuse or, <laughs> or uh, you know, anywhere out east. And that's, that's the beauty of it. These kids now, they know where they want to go. They all dream of, you know, going to Syracuse or North Carolina, Duke, you know, all the big names, John yeah. and all that. What, what really is exciting for us is it's finally starting to grow out west. Yeah, I think you know with with Denver getting so good every year, and now Utah adding D one, um, a couple of our kids, a couple of Sean Lindsay's kids, our goalie Zach, uh, Trip, yeah, uh, is yeah, committed, is committed to Utah, and Tyler Bradbury is now committed to Utah. He's an absolute stud. They were both uh, Under Armour kids this year, um, and so you know it's starting to go out west, and you feel like that domino is just about to tip. Yep. where it's really going to explode, and a lot of these West Coast schools will open up their doors to lacrosse because it's so popular. But in the meantime, you know, everybody has that dream of, of heading to the East Coast. And, yeah. Um, and it was fun because, you know, Sean Lindsay just took the boys out, and we played at the uh, University of North Carolina tournament. And it's fun when those West Coast boys can go out and beat up on the East Coast boys. Yeah. And then they, they, won, the, uh, they won the tournament. They took the, took the, uh, the crown. That's awesome. 
Now, Chris, being that you've been so successful in the entertainment industry, what in your eyes does lacrosse need to do to get to that next level? You know, I, I think lacrosse is doing exactly what it needs to do and, and what it and what should be what should be happening, and that is the sport is exploding. I mean, look, I, I, I again, I grew up in Dallas. The sport is massive in Dallas now, around Highland Park and outside of Dallas in the West Coast. It needed to grow. I mean, it's been yeah. an East Coast, predominantly East Coast sport for so long, but it has really taken off. And I mean, as I mentioned, Denver University, but around Colorado, it's huge. So the grassroots effort of youth lacrosse is now huge around the nation. And as soon as the colleges catch on, then the pro league will get bigger. And yep. I think it's in the it's 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 about timing with anything in in entertainment. Same thing in sports. It's all about timing. Lacrosse is in the right place at the right time. Football is on its way down. Yeah. Um, you know, let's be honest. I I love football. I grew up in Texas. I'm a big Cowboys fan, and I watch it, which might be a little hypocritical, but I don't want my kids playing it. Uh, yeah. It's just dangerous. It's it's way too dangerous, and I think that that sport is definitely falling on the wayside. In a sport like lacrosse gives you that same physicality, the same athleticism, the same people that do well will do well in the crosh. And so it, it's a great sport that I, I really think is in the right place at the right time. Yeah, I could not agree with you more, especially with all the cases of CTE from sports like football, hockey, boxing. I and mean, it, has all, yeah. it has all the trappings. And, and I am a soccer guy, you know, through and through. I loved it. It was my life. But I'll be honest, it's not the best spectator sport in the world. It's slow to some people in America. There's not yeah. goals, et cetera. Um, it's a tough thing to sit around and watch for 90 minutes. Um, but lacrosse is a great spectator sport, much like hockey. Action, up and down, you know, the field, lots of goals, lots of physicality. So it has all the trappings of a great American sport that, that viewers will want to watch. Yep. Um, I mean, you look at the ratings. I mean, look what's happening with, you know, the World Cup was a little weird this year because it was in Israel and the timing was weird. But yeah. you look at the Final Four, look at the ratings and look at the TV and how it's really exploded. Um, you know, it's, it's a sport that's very much on the rise, and that's a good thing. I was actually over there in Israel covering the World Games for Total Lacrosse magazine. I was doing post-game interviews. It was very cool to see 46 nations competing. And you are right, the TV schedule was tough on viewers. While it, you know, look, and while it wasn't conducive uh, to, to having it over there for, for TV and all that, it's important that the, that the, the sport gets bigger. If you're truly going to have a world championship and a world cup, it, it needs to be in Israel. It needs to go to all these other nations because it's fine. Look, in Canada and the United States, we're good. Um, but yeah. You know, you want you want to take it to Asia. You want to take it to Europe. You want to take it to all these other places and let it get bigger and bigger. And, and it's fun to watch. I mean, I know even Sean Lindsay, uh, not this World Cup, but the previous, the one uh, I believe that was in London, or was you know, he was working with some of these foreign teams. And, yeah, you know, yeah. And coach them. And, Thailand. And, yeah. And yeah, exactly. He was working with the Thai team. And so you know, when you when you have these studs in the United States really trying to grow the game. Um, it's huge, and it, it, I think it's it's really that tipping point now where it's about to just explode. Yeah. I love your insight on lacrosse, but let's get back to your career. What projects and shows do you have upcoming? What's going on in your neck of the woods? Yeah, whatever's on the air is done, and then we're on to the next thing. So right now, Bachelor in Paradise is on. We're about midway through that season. That'll be wrapping up, and then we'll get into production on The Bachelor, um, which isn't uh, – we have not picked The Bachelor yet. Uh, which everybody's kind of clamoring for right now. And, yeah. Uh, but actually, at this moment, I'm sitting in a trailer here in Las Vegas. Uh, we're in, in the middle of production on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. So I, oh, I nice. The daytime, I know it's the daytime version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and I've done that. We're in the middle of shooting my fourth season of Millionaire. That's awesome. So, between Paradise and Bachelor, I crank out 175 episodes of uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and then we'll jump into Bachelor production. Wow, that's really cool. Now, are you based out of Las Vegas, or are you in California? I live in Los Angeles. Yeah, okay. I live in Los Angeles. That's where we uh, live, and, and where the, the kids go to school and, and play their lacrosse. But yeah. uh, I come here off and on during the summer to shoot Millionaire. Chris, you've been a part of so many different types of television shows, such as game shows, reality TV shows, and sports casting. Is there any type of show that you haven't done yet and are craving to be a part of? You know, the only thing I've... I've dabbled in that i do find entertaining and, and uh, a passion when i i'll fill in say host with you know live with ryan and kelly or do talk shows yeah being on the view or whatever and i've hosted many many times with uh, all those hosts 
I enjoy it. It's a fun thing to do. It's a, it's a great host driven show and it pushes you. And I, I enjoy that day to day grind. Um, I think I go back to my athletic days of playing ball. I love that day-to-day grind. I like the work. And so that would be something I, I would enjoy. But right now, there's just no time to, to, to add anything more on the plate. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about your son, Joshua. Yeah, yeah his, his, his name is Joshua. Uh, Joshua is, and he's uh, what, a long pole uh, defender. Yeah. You guys call him close. Uh, he loves it. He's, he's a good little player. He's, he's, luckily, he's grown, and he's uh, already bigger than me. And, putting on that size and you know, it's always interesting as you start that, that college climb because especially for those the, the, the defenders you know they're going to get bigger and bigger I mean the kid he's, he is now at 16 obviously by the time he's 18 he's going to be as big as a house so <laughs> wow. um, it's, it's, been, it's been fun to watch him develop and get bigger and the confidence and he's had again with the coaches he has and the teams he's been playing on they've had a lot of success and so with success comes more and more confidence and so it's going to be fun as we get into the to the college hunt and start recruiting and, and start visiting some of these schools and talking to some of these coaches. And thankfully, he's also an honor student and makes straight A's and, and kicks butt in the uh, classroom, which is more important. So yeah. that part will help him out in college as well. Well, that's good. And does he have any interest in uh, following in your footsteps, maybe as a host? No, he's too smart for that. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's, yeah, he's a, he's a brilliant, a brilliant guy. I, I did this because I just wasn't smart enough to have another job. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, no, he's smart. He's smart as can be, and knows you know his computers and programming and coding and all. He's he's so far beyond me. It's it's astounding. So I uh, <laughs> I'm looking for him to end up somewhere in business school somewhere. Well, I wish Joshua the best of luck in his future, both as a lacrosse player and whatever career path he takes. I hope to run into both you and your son Joshua somewhere on the lacrosse circuit in the future. Can you give some advice to the people aspiring to be in the entertainment industry and also the young lacrosse players out there? You know, my advice, because I, I, I speak to college kids all the time and students, and I tell all of them the same thing, that I learned everything I need to know about my business and my life through sports. And um, I played, you know, as youth, I played in college and a little my pro after college but I relate everything back to that and that's the first thing I even tell kids is I'm glad you're playing sports because everything you need to know about winning about losing about competing uh, you know how to, how to take all of that and, and succeed and still step up the next day you're going to face that in business you face it in the real world and I think what I would tell kids is you know don't don't forget the grind you know, the grind and the journey is always the best part. And I think a lot of times kids these days, you know, they, they just want to go, you know, I just want to play for Syracuse. I want to play for Duke. I just want to win the national championship. I want to do the, 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 the best part about this is the grind you're about to go on and putting in the work every day, the blood, sweat, and tears. And don't forget to enjoy the fact that you're playing high school ball. Yeah. And I tell my son that all the time. Like, buddy, don't worry about college. You're going to college. You're a smart kid. These are the best days of your life, playing varsity ball, you know, going to the state championship, going to North Carolina with your best friends and winning a great tournament in front of the coaches out there. You know, these are the good times. And living in the dorms, um, you know, I think anybody that looks back on their career, I don't look back and think recruiting was my favorite part. It wasn't. It was the tournaments, being on the road with my boys. So, you know, whether it's business or sports, you know, don't forget to put in the work. There's no substitute for it. And enjoy the grind. Enjoy the every day. I definitely want to thank you for being a guest on my show, and I want to thank everybody watching. Good luck with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, The Bachelor, Bachelor Pad, and Bachelorette Brand. I appreciate it. Thanks for the time, and, uh, and thanks for talking lacrosse. It's a sport I've fallen in love with uh, as well over the last uh, decade with my son. And so, uh, I, you know, it's a great sport, and I love to get out there and be in front of it as much as possible. It's great to have you as an ambassador to the sport of lacrosse. Having people that have as big of a following and reach as you do involved in our sport is huge. Take, for example, when you posted about the LA Mavericks lacrosse team on your Instagram. Those posts reached so many thousands of people from all over the world. That's how I found out that you had a son that plays lacrosse. Not only that, but Joshua also plays on the LA Mavericks, which is very cool. I am very happy that we have you as an ambassador to the sport of lacrosse. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate the time. Yep, thank you. All right, Johnny. All right, see ya.